If you want to embed your Instagram videos on WordPress just like this, I'm going to show you the best way to do that with no coding needed. This is by using the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. The plugin lets you embed Instagram feeds on your WordPress website in fast and responsive feeds like this. I'll be demonstrating using the pro version of the plugin, but you can check out the free version with less features through the WordPress repository. To get started, head over to smashballoon.com and purchase Instagram Feed Pro. Once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Instagram Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now inside your dashboard, on the left hand side, hover over plugins and click on add new plugin. Next, upload the zip file for Instagram Feed Pro and click install now. Once installed, click Activate Plugin. There we go, Instagram Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we can create our first Instagram feed, we'll have to activate the license key for the plugin. On the left hand side, you'll now notice Instagram Feed. Go ahead and click on Settings. Next, beside License Key, you can paste your license key from your Smash Balloon account. After that, click Activate. And as you can see, our license key has now been activated and we can begin creating our Instagram feed. Once again, under Instagram Feed, click on All Feeds. Next, click on Add New at the top. And for our first step, we'll have to select a feed type. With Instagram Feed Pro, you can create a feed of posts from any user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, and a feed of posts that you were tagged in as well. For this video, I'm going to stick with the user timeline option, and that's already selected for us here, so we can go click on Next. And for step number two, we'll have to connect our Instagram account with the plugin. Click Add Source, and on this page, you can specify whether your Instagram account is a personal or business account. For this tutorial, the account I'll be using is a business account, so I can click on Business, and now it's asking us if we connected our Facebook account with the plugin before. I'm going to click on No, then I can click on connect with Facebook. This will take you into Facebook and inside you should see all the Instagram accounts connected with your Facebook account. Select the one you want to embed inside your feed like this and click next. After that, you should see all the Facebook pages connected with your account as well. Select the page that corresponds with your Instagram account like this and click next. And lastly, it's asking for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook and Instagram accounts. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on our behalf. So it's completely safe. So we can click on done. And lastly, click on OK. You should then get this pop-up here asking you to confirm if this is your domain. Click Yes, it's my domain. This will bring you back inside your WordPress dashboard and you should now see all the Instagram accounts you've connected with the plugin. Select the account you want to add to your feed like this and click on Add. And then you can select it as a source and click Next. On this step, you'll have to select the theme for the appearance of your Instagram feed. We have options like the default, modern, social wall, outline, and overlap. Each one provides you with a unique design to help your feed stand out to your site visitors. For this video, I'm going to go with the modern theme and click Next. And lastly, we have to select the template for the layout of our Instagram feed. We have options like the default, simple grid, simple grid XL, simple row, and more below. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with the masonry cards template and click next. And just like that, we have a beautiful preview of our new Instagram feed in the template and layout that we selected. But currently, it's showing all the different post types in one single feed, including images and videos. So first, let me show you how to isolate and only display your video content. To do that, at the top, go into the settings tab and click on filters and moderation. Inside this menu, you'll find several options to moderate the content inside your Instagram feed. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll notice the option here that says show specific types of posts. Currently, we have photos, feed videos, and reels. Since we only want to display our Instagram videos, I'm going to deselect photos, and you can see straight away that our feed is now only displaying our Instagram reels and videos. So now we can click on save on the top right corner to save our changes. And now that our Instagram feed is only displaying videos, we can go and embed it inside our WordPress webpage. But before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left hand side under the Customize tab, Go into Feed Layout. Inside, you'll find several options to modify the layout of your Instagram feed. At the top, we have the Grid Layout, which displays your Instagram videos in rows and columns. Next, we have the Carousel Layout, which allows site visitors to swipe through Instagram videos like this. Next, we have the Masonry Layout, which displays your videos in rows and columns once again, but in the original sizes. And lastly, we have the Highlight Layout, which highlights your latest posts in a larger size, with the rest of the videos in a Grid Layout. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with the Masonry Layout, and if you scroll down, you can choose how many videos you want to display inside your feed. Currently, it's set to display up to 12 videos, even though we've only got 6 videos inside the Instagram account. If you wanted to change that, you can simply enter the number of videos you want to display. For example, if I wanted to display 3 videos, I can change it to 3, and our feed will automatically make that change and only display 3 videos. I'm going to change that to 6, and there we go, once again it's showing 6 videos inside our feed. And if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you can also modify the number of columns inside your Instagram feed. Currently, it's set to 4 columns, as you can see inside the preview. And if you wanted to modify that, you can simply change it to the number of columns you want to display. For example, if I wanted three columns, I can select it like this. And instantly inside the live preview, you can see that we have three columns inside our Instagram feed. And once you're happy with the layout of your Instagram feed, click save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color scheme of your Instagram feed, under the Customize tab, click on Color Scheme. Currently, it's set to Inherit from Theme, which means that Instagram Feed Pro will automatically match the colors and design of your WordPress theme. Alternatively, you can go with the Light Theme, Dark Theme, or even a custom theme that allows you to select the exact colors you want for your feed, just like this. 
and once you have a color scheme you're happy with, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Lastly, let me walk you through the other moderation features inside the plugin. Go into the settings tab and click on filters and moderation. At the top, if you click on moderate your feed, then enable moderation mode, you can see that we have two different options to use this. The first is with the allow list. The allow list hides all your posts by default apart from the ones you manually choose to display like this. Alternatively, with the block list, all your posts are displayed by default apart from the ones you choose to manually hide like this. And at the bottom, you can also enter specific post IDs to manually hide posts inside your feed. I'm going to disable moderation mode, and if we go back into filters and moderation, under filters, you can add words as filters to hide or show videos containing those words. And lastly, you already know that we have the option to show specific post types. With these filtering and moderation options, you have complete control over the content you display inside your Instagram feed. And if you added any filters, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your Instagram video feed, let me show you how to embed it on your WordPress webpage. To do that, click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click add. Now on our WordPress webpage, we have two different options to embed our Instagram feed. First option is by using the shortcode block and pasting the shortcode we copied earlier like this. Alternatively, if you're using block editor, you can use our dedicated Instagram feed block like this. With this option, you'll instantly see a live preview of your new Instagram feed directly inside your WordPress webpage. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live website. Now on our live WordPress webpage, we have our brand new Instagram videos feed right in the middle. This feed is currently showing all the latest videos from our Instagram account in the theme and layout that we selected. We can see the thumbnail for each Instagram video, and at the bottom, we have a preview of the caption, the number of likes, and the number of comments as well. And on the right-hand side, you also have a button to view the post directly on Instagram. And if a site visitor clicks on any of these videos, they can watch that Instagram video directly on your WordPress website. And on the right-hand side, they can see the caption and a button to share that post on Instagram. So you now know how to embed your Instagram videos on your WordPress webpage with no coding needed. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments below. If you have any technical issues, please contact your awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.